It's been said that the greatest moral imperative of the 21st century is women's equality. Women comprise the vast majority of the world's poor and unschooled. Violence against women is a global scourge. They are still a minority in parliaments and boardrooms and at negotiating tables where peace agreements are crafted. Decisions that affect them but in which they often have no voice. Girls, in some places, take a bullet just for trying to go to school. But the story of women around the world is not the story of victims. It is not solely what they have endured. But even more, it's about what they are doing to transform their societies as agents of change for everyone. We can't begin to solve the world's challenges that confront us if we do not tap the potential of all of our people. Today we have an evidence-based case that investing in women and girls correlates positively with poverty alleviation and a country's general prosperity. Your Nobel laureate chancellor, one of the greatest social entrepreneurs in the world has shown through his work that even the poorest women, when provided with microcredit and training, can transform their lives. This is not just the right thing to do. It is fundamentally that. But it is also the smart and strategic thing. This, not, this is not just about the rising of the women. It is about the rising of us all, together. All over the world, women are still on the road to full equality and joined by good men everywhere who walk with them. We need your values. We need your integrity. We need your creativity. We need your collaboration and your commitment. As Gandhi said, we have to be the change we want to see in the world. So we're counting on all of you.